Hi all folks, this is Max from Zetomax.com and G2Hacks.com uh, Anyway, today we're going to talk about all these ROMs that uh, buggy. MUI after a couple of days, my Wi-Fi works, um, but I'm dropping to Edge often where I can used to get full uh, ACS DPA and my USB drive doesn't work. Um, there's a bunch of problems with these ROMs, e even the Cyanogen 7, CM7 ROM. So when this happens, you know, you might want to wait and just go back to the stock ROM. So how do you do that? Uh, download this PC uh, PC10IMG.zip and copy it over into the root folder of your SD card. Uh, I hope you know how to do that. Uh, and once that's done, all you gotta do is power off the phone. And uh, no more me, 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 and my UI. And uh, when that LED goes off, that means your phone is off. Uh, hold down the volume down and the camera button. And then hit the power button. That should get you into the bootloader mode. There you go. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna look for this PC10 IMG.zip, and that's what it's doing. And this will get it back to one of the previous um, factory ROMs. And what, what you can do is just do a software update. After this is done, see there's a loading bar right there. And uh, when this is done, you should have a a new. No, well, you should have everything back to stock. And it asks you, do you want to start update uh, volume up? Yes. There's volume up, volume up. And now it's updating the radio, um, even the S boot. I even have this phone unlocked and that should lock it again. Uh, maybe you need to return it um, to T-Mobile to get your warranty and get a new G2 or whatever. Um, this way it doesn't, you know, you can undo everything. See it says S off. Um, what happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. Hold on. So the bootloader just kind of rebooted itself. I think it's part of it. Hopefully. So let's just let it run. Have a cup of coffee. Um. By the way, I'll show you something cool. While that's going, I'll show you my new... I set up my Android camera. Um, I, these are actually two Android phones, and this is the front of my house, and this is our uh, the, the, the second floor. I set it up uh, using iSpy and my Android uh, uh, phones. This is actually a Nexus S, and that's uh, uh, my Atrix 4G. They're being used, um, and uh, I can also see it on my HTC Evo. I've got it all hooked up so I can see my house. Oh, you know what? I gotta turn it on. But that's what's coming up. I'll have a video on how to set up your own um, James Bond, like, you know, mobile. You can set this up as long as you have a, a bunch of mobile phones. You can set up a, like a security zone, like when you go camping and stuff. Anyway, I just want to show you that, but let's go back to it, to this. Um, so it's still updating. It's gonna reboot and do all this uh, bajazz, you know. And hopefully we'll have a, a stock ROM. And once that happens, you just update it to the latest software update, and then you're all, all done. And make sure you save up. Uh, I'm not sure if it probably won't touch your SD card. You you can probably take it out. Um, just make sure you back up your apps. You can probably use something like Titanium backup. Um, what's different from ROM Manager is ROM Manager actually backs up your whole ROM. You can do that too, just in case you lose those apps. And then Titanium Backup, what it does is it just uh, backs up individual apps, not the whole ROM. So, you know, you go to different ROM, then you can load up your other apps. 
But what I like to do is you can save, uh, if you use Gmail, you can save all your apps um, through Gmail. You can do that too, but whatever. Um, so I will be back when this is completely done. It's going to take a little bit longer to see the scroll bar. <coughs> So it is done. It says press power to reboot, so I'm going to hit power. <coughs> and hopefully uh, it'll be working. I'll, I'll show you my security camera working on my uh, Evo. And uh, on the Evo, well, what I, what I did is I used uh, this app. What is it? The Tiny Cam Monitor. And you can hook it up to uh, the IP, IP webcam app on your, uh, on your Android phone. So I've got live feeds on my phone and on my computer, and my phone, my computer will record. And this is hella cool, right? You can do um. Oh, you know what? You can do it sideways. Oh, you know what? You can see two two screens at once or more. There we go. So I can see in real time. I just saw a neighbor taking out the trash. So anyway, I just want to show you that. Oh, but here we got the. The stock G2 back, kind of cool, right? Um, anyway, I have spent like last two days setting up these uh, security cameras everywhere, just for fun. So I've got it all back here, it's stock. And uh, what we're gonna do next? Um, look, now I'm getting HSDPA. I was getting edge on all these other ROMs. Look at that, yeah. Okay, USB is on, I know. I think it's still setting up. Let me try that. Okay, I'm back on the chip. Whatever. Let me go connect it to the wireless when this is done. It's just starting up. Um, and then, I'll do this. So, I've got it connected to my wireless. And uh, this PCMCA, let's see what version we just installed. Um, settings about phone. It's 2.2. Um, the kernel is whatever. But now we can update it to the later software update. And so hit system updates. And uh, oh, it's on the latest update, I think. Well, hold on. Now you can update to the latest. This is like um, not the latest, but you can do it uh, manually. Since it's not letting me do it. Oh, never mind. You know what? You don't even have to do that. If you wait, you'll get this sign that you want to update. Yeah, and then just install now. Um, so, just install the thing. You don't have to actually manually do it. I was going to just show you that. But it just popped up now. Um, as long as you're on Wi-Fi, it should, your phone should be able to figure out that uh, you need an update. So, this you just unrooted it to the back to the stock stock ROM. And now um, you're now going into uh, you're just using the the Android system. Okay. So I'll be back when this is completely done. And now you'll have rooted up to up to date uh, stock G2 phone. Hi right, folks. So it rebooted a couple times and now it's updated to the latest latest uh, over the air update. And I should have this uh, exact same condition as um, if you bought a G2 like today but uh, I'll be back when this boots up so I got it updated to the 1.2253.8 which is the latest and uh, um, let's look at the stock op apps um, let's go to settings well, phone 2.2. Well, I'm back to 2.2. Um, but at least your phone is now uh, stock, and you can double check everything's been uh, wiped out by going off. And then I'll oh, just to prove it to you. Power off, and then we'll go back into the bootloader. Pulling down camera and power. Volume down power and or volume down camera and then power. There we go. And uh, oh, you know what? Let's 
still says S off. What? Let me go to recovery. Doop doo doo. Uh, should have got rid of clockwork. If it did, then it did work. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. That's unlocked. Unroot it. So that's on how you unroot your phone. Um, anyway, subscribe. And by the way, we reached 3,000 subscribers uh, last week. Thanks, everybody. Uh, growing. And I'll have that <clears throat> my DIY soon video on how to set up your mobile and uh, mobile Android uh, security system or for your home for fun all right see you later actually s on should be s on I still have s off um, let me see go back into bootloader and see if you can do a factory reset that might they might uh, do it do the job So now it's going back to factory reset. So hopefully that will turn on the S on and I'll be back when this is done. So I got it rebooted again. Um, let me go check. Check. Okay, so it went back to the older one. Um, let me see if S on, S is on now, Whew. but I don't think they're going to check for S on because they're not going to know how to get into the bootloader, just as long as you have the stock ROM on there, that should be pretty much good enough. Let's go back into bootloader, now well, S is off, but you know. I don't know. I don't know why. I'll try to figure that out, but this should be good enough because everything is pretty much factory. Um, but that's how you unroot your phone. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to uh, do that next video. So, thanks a lot. Subscribe. See y'all later.